stay and the sun stays away Take heart in a new tomorrow A little more love between next for a bright day Never need worry, let one love say to you One love, keep us together Living in a world, it's a struggle to stay
me on behalf of the Association of Community Newspaper Publishers of Nigeria, the Amsterdam Council, welcome you formally to this very auspicious moment. I remember precisely on the 11th of November 2021, this same program held at Bucky Hotel, and it was indeed very, very grand. And so ladies and gentlemen, can we please put our hands together for this group? Very wonderful group. They have done very well. And uh, from what we can see, they are also improving by the day. Today, we have come again for this program, the 2022 Lecture and Award Ceremony. And at this point, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say welcome once again. Thank you so much. At first, we were meant to play with you because we almost started the schedule. Nevertheless, I'm sure we're still on course. Ladies and gentlemen, we have here the cream de la cream of personalities who have not really come to attend this occasion, but they have come to grace this momentous occasion. And so permit me to welcome the chairman of this event, though the substantive chairman, Professor Chenro, is unavoidably absent, but we have, okay, on his way, we have another woman of valor, another very highly celebrated educationist who is in the house to take up that responsibility. And so, Mr. Lewis and gentlemen, permit me to welcome to the high table the representative of the chairman, a woman who is going to hold forth for the chairman, our mother, our sister, Professor Mrs. Joan Oko JP, and the type of Mrs. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for her. Put your hands together for her, please. Great woman, Mr. You're welcome, man. Thank you so much. And then we also have here this afternoon the representative of our guest of honor, our honorable speaker, the Artist of Assembly, and the governorship candidate for the People's Democratic Party, the Artist of Come 2023. He is being represented here by Dr. Ebenezer Okorududu. Thank you, sir. For you appreciate the presence. Thank you. He is presenting right honorable Sheriff Uberuwari. Another round of applause, please. And then we have another very distinguished scholar, wonderful technocrat and politician, and prolific writer, and a man who has also been fit to come to serve. He is the candidate for the Anyocha Ushimefebe constituency, House of Representatives, to be precise, our own brother, Honorable Dr. Tony Mwaka Ide. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, we also have here this afternoon Another very distinguished personality who is also absent, unavoidably absent, but to be represented here by another very wonderful woman. She is Mrs. Kim Akidele, the CEO of Mind Diabetes Organization, to be represented here by Mrs. Chukura Veronica. So I'd like to inform you that uh, Ide Tulemwaka was a two-time commissioner, Delta State, a member of the State Executive Council, and he was also the chairman of ANOM, a very wonderful man. Another round of applause for this gentleman. Thank you very much, Ide. Um, we also like to recognize the, the guest speaker for today's lecture, who is already seated here, or still was seated for that matter. Another very wonderful man. I knew when he was going to sway, 
and the federal college medication technical with all the different body. Today, he is the executive assistant with His Excellency on Education Monitoring, Dr. Ignatius Manzi is in. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yeah, we also have here the representative of the Honorable Commissioner of Police, the Commissioner of Police, sorry, in the state. And I knew by this time last year he was with us at Orchid Hotel. He never feels a very committed, very fine, committed, and persevering professor. I'd like to welcome SS Ebrahim Red, Commissioner of Police of the This is foundation who is also on his way, I'm sure that uh, in a very short while he will be here with us. Thank you. Well, we have other personalities here, including our brothers and friends who are all here seated. We'd like to welcome you formally to this event. I'm here, maybe probably in your capacity because I'm standing as a master of ceremony and also representing another awardee in this ceremony, Sir Dr. Chooks. Okonji Umelora. Uh, unfortunately, his part was cancelled, so he has said I should represent him here today. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for me. You know, it's more person than a good job at the time. You know, it's at all. And so this time, we are going to set the ball rolling by committing this event to our Lord Jesus Christ. And so we're going to call on uh, Mrs. Chukura and Veronica to give us the open prayers. Please go to us together for We are great. Uh, we will not, uh, as part of our culture, 
we should equally support our own colour not. We are all deltans. So all members here, friends and well wishers of ACMPN, you can join in supporting the colour not. Members, please come and support the colour not. Well, Well, if there's no other person, then me, <laughs> as a member, you come and support the program. So let me support our program on behalf of all other members of the ECM with the sum of 1,000 naira. Thank you very much. Of our Mr. Great Senator, Representative Grant Lott, the Great Chairman, who is not here with us, his personal assistant has come to present today. And at this point, I'd like to recognize formally Honorable Henry Mordi, representing the Senator. Yes, yes. He is the representing representative most distinguished Senator Peter, former Commissioner. And our candidate for the House of Friends and the Church of the Constituency of the All Progressive Congress, Dr. Tony Wanda, to please move to the high table. We are requested to move up to the high table. Please, a round of applause for the good Tony Wanda. It is an unassuming gentleman that felt very comfortable, but we are not comfortable seeing him this day. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Chairman, guest of honor and honor, very respectable members of the table, I'd like to formally receive this wedge on their behalf and make the formal presentation of this wedge to my leaders here. Thank you, man. And we'll move straight to the next item on the program. And that is the opening remarks by the chairman of this event. So I'd like to hand over the microphone to Professor Mrs. John Cole for her remarks, opening remarks. We could buy back. I put the rest together. Thank you. Thank you very much, ma'am. I remember when she was the principal of the Missouri Secondary School, mm -hmm. I knew how tough and how serious the students were. Please put your hands together for Prof. Thank you, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. 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 Everywhere. We are traversed every, almost everywhere in the United States. Thank you very much. And so, ladies and gentlemen, let me call on the chairman of uh, ACMPL. The chairman of this wonderful body, Chief Obebe Yego, to please come for his welcome address. Chairman, sir. Let's put our hands together for the chairman of this great. Solidarity. Let me recognize the representative of the speaker. Delta State House of Assembly slash governorship candidate of PDP. 
I also recognize the presence of the chairman, also the presence of the Commissioner of Police Data States. Let me also respect other members of the IT. Gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the occasion of 2022 Publishers Media Weeks last Our annual event is one of the greatest ceremonies where individuals in the states and beyond are recognized for what they have done in their various contributions. Ahead of the 2023 general elections in the country, the mass media has an important role to play in educating and informing the people on the need to shun election violence, killings, vote by powering, kidnapping, robbery, and other social vices. When this function is properly carried out by the media, it will assist in reducing the high rate of insecurity that has ravaged the country. On the part of the security agencies, it is expected that the lives of the organizers of elections, voters, and properties are protected during the electionary period. Where there is synergy between the media and the security agencies, there is every possibility of having credible, free, and fair polls in 2023. The Association of Community Newspaper Publishers of Nigeria, which is registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission, is is an association of credible publishers engaged in the business of newspapers like magazines publishing. Our core mandate is the desire to promote and coordinate the activities of the members in the interest of creating an enabling business environment, advocate for good governance, proper grassroots reportage, adherence to professional ethics, inform, educate, entertain, sensitize, and supporting of the public good. I greet the, the, the distinguished Nigerians who will, in the course of this conference, be conferred with Achievers Award, attracted by their enduring notable contributions to various factors of the social economic development of Nigeria. The recognition brought by these awards should ginger them to greater contribution towards the betterment of Nigeria. I use this medium to thank you all who have contributed to the smooth and success of this conference. Today, the association is launching a 30 million naira mobility bus for our members. This will enhance our movement for the coverage of grassroots assignments and it will assist the body in reducing the stress of firing force whenever we have events to attract, to attend in the state and beyond. The journey is still long and as and at some point may be with us. But with our trust in God, we are doggedly resolved to attend our goals with you, people who support. We kindly appeal for your partnership in this noble project. Today we are also celebrating our 15 years anniversary as a body. So finally, I thank you all for finding time to attend this great event and wish you safe journey to your various destinations. God bless. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Michelle Mahan and ACMPN, Mr. Abel Thank you so much for that wonderfully crafted address. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before we go to the next item on the program, I'd like to say that I have another young comedian in our midst. Uh, yeah. 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 
recognize the presence of uh, some very wonderful personalities who just walked in a while ago. One of them is one very fine politician, very fine legal luminary, highly celebrated, the old man for that matter. He was a governorship aspirant of that state in the last concluded primaries. And he also, was also a former Attorney General Commissioner for Justice of that state. And so, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to call to the right table Mr. Peter Brambo, SEN, Senior Advocate of the Please put your hands together for Mr. Peter Rambo. Put your hands together for Mr. Peter Rambo. Another young man. The man who also believes that the pen is mightier than the sword. He is a distinguished member of the fourth estate of the ring. And by the special grace of God, he is the chairman of NUJ Health State. Comrade Mike Ecop. Please put him in Thank you so much. Thank you. I also have. Already the high table, one of the royal fathers of the day. Another highly respectable monarch. He is the Igwe of Ababa Kingdom, His Royal Majesty, who will be Frederick in Mukoye II. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. Well, let me call to the podium my brother, my friend, a young man who is also a comedian. I'd like to invite MC Amiya to please come and crack our ribs for the next five, ten minutes. Aguya, please, where you be? Please put your hands together for him as he steps out. Thank you so much. The next five, ten minutes you have done on the further Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hello. Please, can you put your hands together? Your hands together for yourselves. Yourselves. Not you can make it yourself. You will love yourself. You see, some people are not clapping for themselves. That is to say, you don't like yourself. Why God will remember you? Yes, from the high table, men of timbers and calibers. I'm a woman clap for my right table today. That like this is supposed to be, and you see the item will make sure of all the political parties. Or for my street, we'll not face that like this. We wear the support. I don't know the problem. I mean, anywhere you live, when you roll, sickness come out for your head. Roll like this. If your neighbor not the roller, roll like now. <laughs> see what we have been through from January. I'm not going to say some of us go, Ross, you make them. <laughs> Come on, my head, Roll like you, your neighbor, if you know the roll. But you are not like to win now. Uh, all of us will see the end of this year in Jesus' name. This one, I better stay, Daddy. We want to discuss our problem. All of us went to them. I swear in the name of God, anything I want to talk here, I joke, I lie, I lie. I'm going to clap for my lie, I bet. I want to ask you one question. I'm there. Asaba, I'm not fan of which will be sell and pass. Which will be sell and pass? Eh? Okay, I'm fan of and it goes on. Which will be do for one night pass? Eh? Okay, it goes on and I'll watch. Which will be the team good pass? Eh? I'll watch and I'll go. Which will be the chop in the two pass? Eh? And what if which you the smoke in both us? Apple and a wash. Okay, okay, I'm one quality. Which you the smoke in both us? I'm one happy. 
Wale Adorobo, which people they marry plenty white bass. Huh? You say? Now I talk about. You don't say that you are talking to the governor. Uh, when they don't enter now, anybody will enter now, I will say that they marry plenty white, not to be talking. Now that you thank God, that's why we will discuss now. How many of you are not saying? Okay, the suit, not the get trust. <laughs> you know, say that the way when you can't take carry the suit, now another person don't pick the trust and go somewhere. So if you carry the suit, no complain. Carry another trust and go match a big room. Don't be so they go. I mean, don't be so. All right, we they go now. I want no day to let you. Then they ask, I want ask on one question. Man and woman, who they find pass? <laughs> who they find pass naturally? <laughs> who they look the item for the answer? <laughs> see some men of Tibas and Caliba, see where they sweet. <laughs> who they sweet pass? <laughs> who they find pass? <laughs> oh no, this one now, we don't want you. Even man, you go for woman. <laughs> Where's the man, do man? <laughs> Uh, this, this man that my lecturer see the product well uh, produced. I read the uh, mass uh, computer education. Now, now microphone I, did. I don't know what it concerns mass computer and uh, microphone. Okay, now mass. Okay, SNPN. I don't want to clap for this association. Okay. These people, they are very, very informed. I don't know how they do Even my own streets. I don't know how to tell the guy news what did they happen for me all yeah. day. I travel go village. I just they come from Asaba. I be quite a god. I just they reach nine. Ah, one of my uncle is say, in the tour radio they read well. Then I just sit and say, ah, my boy, how are you? I say, fine, sir. Ah, that woman when they say for sure why for Bosak the other day. How did this thing happen? Me when they ask about, I don't know say something like that they happen. I don't know say these people don't write go. That's why they respond. I don't know how they did they get the news, how they did they move. I bet we can clap for them again. They are too informed. They are too informed. We see them they go. Man and woman who they take care of children pass. Wow. Who the children they submit for the house? Wow. Man and a woman. Wow. I bet we can clap for women. Wow. Even 2015 election. They say now women, in fact, this 2023 election when they come, now women they vote pass. Now women have been a men they vote pass. Now women, we will be men. We think that they trick, they shot. I'm on big end. Now lie, you know the police limits. But women will line up. I don't want to clap for women. I don't want to clap for women. No wonder education say educate the women, educate the nation. I don't want to clap for women again. But this last one now, anybody will win and I will have forever. Men and women who they drink like I pass. <laughs> now women, 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 daddy, not the women will win for this one. Now uh, women will win, now women will win for Kai Kai this one. Now. Because I want to come on. Amen. Men and women who they bring to their school fees. Amen. Huh? Amen. Who be that woman when they share that woman? So why do they bring to their school fees? Ah, you ask that woman to try. All right, sir. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is MC Agoya. God bless you. Come this. Thank you, Mr. Thank you very much. I'm going to clap for Agoya. Put your hands together for him. Put your hands together for him, please. Thank you very much, Agoya. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me quickly announce the arrival of one of the awardees, though he is unavoidably absent, but is being represented here by his brother. And so let me recognize quickly Mr. Deo Okeze, who is ably presented here by Honorable Odyssey Okeze.
Please put the hands in the for Thank you very much. I also want to be the Vice Chairman of Online Publishers Association, Mr. Miracle Enuji. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Enuji, is he here? Enuji, Miracle, put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Well, at this point, I will go straight to the next item on the program, and that's a lecture by our Provost Emeritus, Dr. Ignatius Israel, Executive Assistant to His Excellency the Government of the State on Education Monitoring for his lectures. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord, somebody. Chairman of the occasion, all members of the high table, this side, and all other members of the other high table, That's fine. I welcome you to this occasion. First, before I look into what I call a discussion, because not a lecture, you can lecture old men, but you discuss with them. I like what this MC, uh, this um, comedian did, because it's what is happening to me in my house now. All my children, they are out. They are, my wife just went for a mugo for my second daughter. And all the children happen to be with her. Ah, for the past one week, I'm alone in the house. <laughs> so, so I took a picture of myself where I was cleaning my room and uh, sent on our family platform. My wife asked me, that's a good one. You are keeping physically fit. <laughs> it's not true. It's not just the best, but. Uh, all the children are so happy that we are there, but me, forget to, oh, women must always grab our children. But they belong to us because our wife is our child, so the children are, all of them, completely are our children. But men, I want to advise us quick, always find a way of making yourself happy. Make yourself continually happy. You must, because the time will come, you will be deserted. It's in philosophy by Socrates and Aristotle. A time will come, not isolated that they want to kill you. It's natural. I can't go for Mugoma, I have to go. But now I have to start adjusting. Hope I'm going for Mugoma one time. Why? <laughs> so, so please, men, try to make yourself happy. I hate when I hear that young men die young because of uh, cardiac arrest, BP, uh, this on, no, no, don't give yourself pressure. Provided what you do make yourself happy, does not have effect on uh, Iko, my, uh, my friend. Be happy at all times. May God bless you. Amen. This topic is uh, the 2023 general elections, the role of the mass media and security agencies, challenges and prospects. I have, I have a compendium that I will hand over to the chairman at the end of the talk. Just 15 minutes I will be through because I have uh, tried to reduce what I'm, I've done in the compendium to two pages. A summary. So I will talk to what I've done on this paper. When we talk about mass media, what do we mean? Mass media. Let us just look at it. Mass media are the sources through which information, news, and education is taken to the masses. Who normally wouldn't have got such news? information and education if this mass media is not at work. Any means of mass communication to send information to the masses as the comedian was talking about in his village is mass media. It can be print, it can be electronic, or what you call online. It can be even be through photography. It can be editorial work. It can be through announcements. So that is mass media, to send news and information to educate the masses. That is simply put. I'm not following dictionary definition. That is my own definition. Now what, when we talk about security agencies, what do we mean? In any normal society, there are people who are to maintain law and order. Because no society is actually normal if there's no maintenance of law and order. And in our climb, as elsewhere, the people charged with the maintenance of law and order is the police. Is the police. 
But in an abnormal society, like we have in Nigeria, police alone cannot do it. So you discover other agencies coming to aid the police, to assist the police in the maintenance of such order and peace. That is security agencies. In an election period, when the mass has, is sitting there, you are sitting down in your place, you don't know what to do. It's the mass media that will take the information of what is happening in Abuja to you at the grassroots. Because I cannot, in my village in Mogo, know what is happening in Abuja. So that means through which you get information, get news about what is happening is the mass media. And those who assist in the maintenance of law and order during elections, even before elections, at all times, they constitute the security agencies. It has been a, a, a broadened with the addition of vigilante and other community watchdogs. Now what I have here, I'll go through it in a minute. What is the role of the mass media? The mass media is to spread news and information on campaigns and to let voters know and get a better idea of whom they are voting for and their stance on issues. We are talking about normal society. I will come to that at the end. Whatever I am saying here is about normal society. We know that Nigeria is not a normal society. <laughs> Two, decision making by voting public is made more informed. I can't just carry my voter's card, go and vote somebody. I must have been informed about this person. What is his pedigree? Is he the person that will help us to grow? Or is he somebody that has a lot of uh, skeleton in the cupboard, cockroaches in his web? It's the mass media that will let us get such information. It's their role. In a normal society, I say it again. Three, the media introduces the candidates who have the best chance of winning to the citizens. If we are all in confusion, we don't know what to do, we don't even know who to vote for. Even before they come to campaign to us, because campaigns are not telling you the truth what they're going to do. It's the mass media that's supposed to educate the public for us to take informed decision. It's the mass media role to inform the general public to make informed decision during elections. That is in a normal society. Four, the media educates the illiterate public with the provision of current news and information. You know, if you don't provide current news and information, the rumor mill will be filled. If you don't know what is happening here, you can speculate what is happening. So the rumor, rumor mill will be filled. That's why you hear that this person is dead, meanwhile he's not dead. Is the effective mass media that's supposed to provide us such information. The media exposes crime and criminal tendencies in the polity and hence act as a watchdog in the society for both the leaders and the led. The media acts as linkage in the society, bridging the gap between the government and the less informed citizenry. The media also provides progressive services to the society. Simply put, the important role of the media include influencing public opinion. If you educate us properly, our opinion about any issue might change. If you get proper education from mass media, it helps us in determining the political agenda, providing a link between the government and the people, acting as a government watchdog and affecting socialization. In a normal society, journalists police the police. Do you know what that means? You are a watchdog on even the government. That's why in many cases, if you see a journalist coming to where you are, all of you must sit up. Whatever you have to be very careful. Because they are watchdogs. That is in a real society where you have real journalists too, not quacks. Problem facing the media in Nigeria. These problems are enormous, but I have just tried to highlight to you. Most of us are 
journalists, but we don't have up-to-date facilities. You are in the village where election is being conducted, and you want to transmit results to Asaba, but you are using Nokia Touch. How can you do that? There's no network in Ublu, another village in my area. You want to send, make a call to Asaba, how will you do that? So paucity of facilities affects mass media. Tribalism. Most news you will not report it because the person is from your village. You will support evil because the person is your king. You become tribalistic. You, become, you discover that the news you are giving us is no longer to inform us, but to deform us. Corruption. I have said that in Nigeria is not a normal society. Corruption is the main fulcrum of our existence. So a journalist in Nigeria must be, will be corrupt, although we have exceptionals, because I, I have interacted with some of you there. Some of you are exceptional. But corruption has eaten deep even into journalism, and you will not send the correct information, except it is not affecting your candidate. The news will become blood. The information you send will become blood. It's no longer the real. You are no longer rational in your reportage. Because proper analysis must be done before you send the report. And after that proper analysis, there will be logic. This person, he said, he has killed this boy. Oh, he report that he has killed this boy. Were you there when he killed him? No. It's as Iko uh, told me. It's not a first-hand news. As the news goes from me to another person, it becomes distorted. And if this person is not my friend, I will make the news scammer. If he's my friend, I will water down the news. So whatever goes about this issue in one place is different from the news since we, those days we were in Benin, University of Benin. In that Plymouth Road, or some, those of us who grew up in Benin, Plymouth Road, where I have any of Yes, Nigerian, Nigerian Institute of Journalism. People are coming there to train, and we have very many of them today. But now, because of hunger, some of you are not qualified to be journalists. You carry, but you carry the name, you carry the logo, you carry the ID card. Were you trained? Because if you are a trained journalist, your reporter will be different from a, a, a quack. So quackery is affecting journalism in Nigeria, hence mass media. Quackery. We have quacks. You talk about round hole in a round, a round peg in a round hole. But some of you are round pegs in a square hole. So it affects whatever information you turn out. The government also, if you see where well, I reported on last year, the government has said to kill the mass media in Nigeria. That's not the truth. It's no longer news to all of us. How many journalists have been handed into prison, many of them killed, many of them battered, brutalized, even by government agencies. It's not hidden. It's not hidden. Including the police. Officer, welcome, you are there. No. So they brutalized. Journalists, in, in, when you are trying to cover sins of uh, whatever try, uh, happened in an election, we have seen such news. So the, the journalists are the receiving end. The government does not encourage journalists because there's freedom of information being, but how practical and how practicable is that being implemented? How practical is that? So the government does not help uh, journalists and the mass media. Lack of strong ethical values. Some of you don't know yet that every career or profession has ethical values. As a teacher, I will discuss with the prof. As a teacher, wake me up this morning. Tell me this and I'm going to give a lecture on any topic. I don't need to go and I don't need to go to my library. I must be ready at all times. Because I am a born teacher and a trained teacher. I cannot be a good journalism, journalist. I cannot be a good politician. So whatever you are a professional, there are ethics in it. There are things you must do. But some of you don't know that. As a journalist, there are characteristics you must possess. There are behavioral traits you must display. There are ways you will carry yourself. Because it is how you dress that you will be addressed. Some of you don't know that. 
I see some journalists who go and uh, be begging for money in order not to publish whatever they see or hear. Is that journalism? What type of information are you going to send out? That's the mail. Thank you very much. That's black mail. So you have violated the code of ethics. Every profession has code of ethics. And when that is done, remember the person going to suffer is the masses. If you are any products, we, the citizens, don't get true information from you. You will mislead us. And unethical journalists will, will mislead the masses. But there are prospects in the job. So it's not all that bad, bad, all that uh, horrendous, no. A good journalist, as we have asked, seen what happened to many journalists in Nigeria. One of them are usually selected as press, uh, press, uh, press, um, yes, to the even governors to president, at this the media age. And they live where? In fact, you come today, the journalist that the press secretary to the governor. Look at the man in uh, Abuja with uh, Buhari. They all are, they're the man on uh, Arise Television. Yeah, about the ruin, about it. So there are very many, too many to mention. There are prospects in the job. And not only that, you are personality. Whenever I see your uh, chairman, the BMW, once I see him, I will sit up. Because his personality presumes his presence. His journalists are recognized. But if he spark at the one that will come and ask me for money at all time, I will not rec recognize him. So there are many prospects. Because it's not only by reportage or by reporting or covering news. No, you have other many things that a journalist can benefit from. You do not only work as radio and TV announcers, you also work as reporters, public, public relations specialists, or editors. You are also writers and uh, authors. A good journalist is a good author. Many authors are, brought, are journalists. My best friend Mukolo from Singapore is an old journalist. He has written 25 books in the past 10 years. Some books in psychometry. You can also add, work in films and even event managers as a journalist. What are the roles of the security agencies? The security agencies are to maintain law and order before during and after elections. They are used to avert thuggery, vandalization, banditry, and all other associated crimes that can mark peaceful conduct of election. In addition, security of election personnel and electoral materials are to be guaranteed by the security agencies. That's what we see in Nigeria. And that's what it's supposed to be. Policemen will have to guide the citizens. In the units, like in my village, during the election, only two, two policemen will come. They have only one, one rifle. The good lords will come with 25 rifles. What do you want that policeman to do? That's in my village. Is that the place I want to go? You will be killed. Because people are calling police, police. They don't have enough personnel. They don't. It's not the truth. And Nigeria is so large, the country. In adequacy of facilities and equipment, I was listening to the news yesterday. They were talking how the police want everything to be done by police. They don't even have papers to produce uh, to print reports. They don't have vehicles to go to any crime scene. How do you want them? How do you want police to work? And you want them to be in every co uh, corner of the country. So security agencies, they are also in serious problem. They have logistic difficulties. They will plan and plan. Police knows what to do. If police want to bring out all the criminals around the town today, police, do you know police can do that? Yes. yes. Police will do that. With that, I'm an old man in this place. There was a day, a time they killed a policeman in Israel. In the evening, within two days, they have started fishing out all the bad boys, all the corners where they are in Israel. All that have to run away. That's how we went Martin calling in Israel. So if you equip the police properly, Make this available. The police don't want to do. I'm talking about the police that is not corrupt. So they have logistic difficulty. It's all over.
then corruption. They are part of the society. The policeman, after 30 years, they are unable to train their children. No, you must look for a way to survive. Is it police you will eat? Your family will not eat? That's Nigerian tendency. So corruption also enters the security agency. Sometimes we hear in elections how they are brought over by politicians in order to have their way. It may not be true, there are allegations, but it is possible in a corrupt environment. It is. So corruption will affect the security agencies in the discharge of their duties. Tribalism, the same thing. One of my brothers was a policeman, he was quoted to Yobe. He ran away. That he doesn't want to go to North. Are you a mad person? And you want to serve Nigeria? No. You want to serve your place. It's because of what the system we have found ourselves. Tribalism enters something like security agencies. They, they, they will not work well. Politics. Politics. It's also affecting them. Most times, it has been alleged. I've not seen that proof, but I think it's true. Once a very strong politician, you must have the best security agencies around you in order for you to excel. Without them, you will not excel. We have good candidates that can, that can never win elections because they don't have security personnel to work with them. It's true, we are all Nigerians, we are here. We are here. So I am saying that, however, many security personnel have lived above board. We have seen many policemen who have lived above board in this country, and especially with the new orientation they have. They have also assisted in the peaceful conduct of elections. There was an election that was content, conducted in 2019, this last election. I was the returning officer in Isoko, between Isoko, Isoko North and Isoko South. No, there are two, two candidates there in Isoko South. Who go there? So, uh, the federal constituency group. So, when I finished here, everything, it was two days we were doing computing. The next morning, I was to come back with the result. It was the, because people were shouting and trying to block the door, the road. It was police that came, cleared the road, and guided me from Ole till I reached Asaba, I met office, and presented the result. Without police, only God knows what will have happened to such uh, uh, election and election results. So I'm trying to say that the police also useful, very, very centrally useful. If you remove corruption from the police, remove, I'm using police because it's their main duty, the other agencies that work with them. Remove corruption, remove tribalism, provide them with logistics. This population will be conducted. However, the 2023 general election will be conducted freely if the mass media we live above board and provide the necessary information to the citizen that you are not a politician. Yeah, no. uh, but from the from what is happening now, you are becoming to uh, coming into becoming a politician. Most more, most more. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Well, we have assimilated all you have said about the mass media and uh, how it should be. I remember the late Chris Okole, who always said that he's a, he was a journalist and a lawyer who can never be guard. Yes, the late Chris Okole. Yeah. I also remember the likes of the late. I remember the likes of uh, Ray Ebu. Yes, and a host of other very magnificent, magnificent uh, uh, journalists, late Anthony Nahoro and a host of you. Okay. So thank you very much sir, for that wonderful lecture. Thank you, sir. Let's put our hands together for him once again. Well, as the lecture was on, the we somebody walked in, and at this point I'd like to recognize Honorable Victor Osuya, who is representing Honorable Charles Emetunu, member of the Assembly in the Upper West. Honorable Victor Osuya, please. You're welcome. Put your hands together for Victor Osuya, please. Well, I also have here the engineer Tony Ezuku, 
founder Tony Izuku Foundation, an oil magnate and a successful entrepreneur. Engineer, you're welcome, sir. We also have here Comrade Nandio Fonya, who is also representing Chief Mrs. Miche Mekunye, the founder of Ada Jesus Foundation. Yes. Thank you. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to formally invite the chairman to the high table, Professor Achoino. Rector, Delta State Polytechnic of Washubu, to please come back to the United States. Thank you so much. Yes. Comrade Nam Deofoye, representing Adan Jesus. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Well, at this point, we'll go straight to the next item, and that is the good new message. And I have to call, I'd like to call on the representative of the CP to please talk to us. Yes, yes, Ibrahim. Thank you, sir. So we went to that station and vehicles were run out. <laughs> as uh, as we started struggling to see which vehicle we know, he said, no, no, no. No, no, no. One person, one bed. <laughs> one person, one bed. We took, we were careful to understand their strength. They were 120 percent, and make no mistake, they have 82 sensible vehicles right at the station there. And that's why, wherever we go, we excel, particularly with Nigerians, when it comes to professional disability and application to do this. We excel because everything has, is at our fingertips. So I thank you for that highlight. My professional colleague said he wish you well, but that I should remind us that we are already in the ember month. These are the periods where crimes are getting and mostly carried by Hoodlums, men of the underworld, in a bid to make themselves joyfully during our festivities. That we should work with the police. That the provision of security is not only the responsibility of the police, but it's everybody's business. And he said, I should request all of us to continue support the police. As a police agency uh, in the internal security with useful information. He said he is not unaware that some persons who wish, who wish to assist the police with information sometimes somewhere but have gone through serious hardship as a result of some mischievous characters that divulge the sources of their information. During his lecture, he said, information could be from paper, could be from individual, could be anywhere. It is our duty to protect every information given to us with utmost confidentiality. Because if that is not done, you are subjecting that individual, his family, his business, to problem and untold hardship. So he said that we should continue to support us with information as a serious tool in crime fighting. And be rest assured that all information given to us will be kept secret and treated with utmost confidentiality. So, I think we can't do without the media. We cannot blow our trumpets, but the media does it. 
when we make achievements as substances, the police don't have the will power to, to, to send it to go viral to, to inform the whole world. But it's the media. That was a good message from the Commissioner of Police of the United States, delivered by his representative, ACP SS Ibrahim. Please, can we turn our hands together for him? Thank you very much, I appreciate you. Well, without this time, let me call on the, one of the real fathers here, who also has one or two things to tell us. The U.S. Government of the Kingdom, His Royal Majesty, Obi Frederick, who will call the second. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to stand on the existing protocol. Uh, I'm not actually going to speak on the, the issues presented here. I just want to thank the organizers, the SNPN, for inviting the Royal Fathers. Unfortunately, some of those of us that were invited could not make it. But at the same time, I have to express my happiness that we were invited. But most of the time, we complain that these people don't care about us, we in the local communities. But now we are invited, most of them are not even here. So I thank you so much. And from now on, I would like you to report the activities happening in our local communities. Well, I am from Abala Kingdom. Three communities are under me, Abalo, no, Abalo, and Abalo. Hardly you hear news about us. No road, no water, no health centers, nothing. And nobody writes about it. So that's why I'm happy that I'm here today, at least to express these things to the association. So that from now on, you can partner us. Some of the news you hear about us, so you will have to come out and pay for it. Thank you, Majesty. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Well, we want to recognize someone who just walked in now. He is a chieftain of uh, organizing youth worldwide, young man, very, very articulate. Mazi, Barista Levinus, on Mazi. I'd like to welcome you. Thank you very much. Please put your hands together for him once again. He is already, already, you know, depicted organizing himself. I can see Dr. Peter Rambo dealing with smiles, very, very comfortable. I salute you. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to do the cutting of the cake, the cutting of the anniversary cake right away. So I'd like to please urge the members of uh, ACNPN to be led by the chairman for proper cutting, official cutting of the anniversary cake. That's where we are now. Microphone to say one of the things to us. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to formally call on Professor Achenu, the chairman of today's event and rector of Delta State Polytechnic of Washington, to please tell us something. Put another second up for Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think I will stand on the existing protocol. But without um, making a mistake, I think I still have to recognize the Senior Royal Highness, the Igwe of uh, Abba Lashino. I want to believe so. Uh, all members of the high table here present, the members of the association, and all other stakeholders here present. Good afternoon, everybody. Before I proceed, I want to say I am very, very sorry for coming late. You know, I remember one quote in the Bible that what I fear most has befallen me. <laughs> you know, when they came to meet me, I was telling them that I'm praying that something would not come to come and take over that time. And that's why I said next time I will not express that fear again. 
In Bereli, I spread that fear, something actually stepped in. And unfortunately, I was to be in Abuja this morning. And the ticket has already been booked. I had to now change the ticket to the afternoon. So I will still travel. But the fact is that I don't want to miss this particular event. Because unfortunately last time, the same thing happened and I missed it. So I decided to sacrifice that one and change the ticket to around 4 p.m. today. Thank God I am now here and I'm happy that my body and soul are now with you here. <laughs> now, Association of um, Community Newspapers actually is one very good fifth communist in this country. Even though people do not see it from the light in which it, is, it presents, they are very strong and they reach to the communities more seriously and more accurately than expected. So those of us in our small areas where we administer, we value community newspapers very well. Now, you may not understand, not everybody reads other papers. But when you fly all these newspapers, they get to the villages, they get to the people concerned. And that is why it is a very, very important aspect that we must all take seriously. So I'm happy to be associated with you. At least my school, in particular, dignitaries in the country to be awarded. And we know from your pedigree that your selections are not usually biased. They are selections that are activated by the contributions and the quality of such individuals that you are giving awards. Of which people should also learn from that. At least I remember one time you recognized me. You continue to associate with you and progress will come your way. So continue to associate, this, uh, associate with this association and promote them positively as well. Support them also financially, morally, and in an encouraging manner that can make them to continue to stand. There are so many of them, I know many more will continue to come. So, but I think without uh, speaking so much, I'm not one of the guest speakers, but by uh, position of um, the chairman, I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, I want to stop here because as a lecturer, you know, since we are paid to talk, anytime we are giving microphone, we always go beyond bounds. Sometimes they, work, they have to tie up on us to drag us back that it's too much. But I think I have to stop here before it is too much. I don't want the rules to be tied on my neck. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you. I would like to at this point recognize the presence of the state's youth leader of organizing people, Desmond Marizzi. I'd like to welcome you. Thank you so much. The state secretary of organizing is also in the house, Mr. Benny Gupo. I also like to appreciate the presence. Sir Ambassador Chief Gospa Apuru of the Unity Foundation. He is ably represented here by Chairman of the Foundation, Mr. Don Swain Okberi, and members of the National Working Committee. I'd like to welcome you forward. Thank you so much. Well, at this point, we'll go straight to the investor ceremony. Uh, I'm made to understand that the speaker, Delta State of Assembly, Right Honorable Sheriff Oburuwari, who is also the candidate, the governorship candidate for uh, the People's Democratic Party, counted to the major elections, is the patron. And so we'd like to call on um, our the chief of staff, who is here representing the honorable speaker, Dr. Ebenezer Kurumuru, to please stand up and then step up for the discussion ceremony. Put your hands together for Thank you. 
the speaker of the Artist of Assembly, who is the patron of this wonderful organization, Dr. Ebenezer Kurududu. I'd like to salute you. He is going to be decorated by His Royal Majesty, the Igwe of Abala Kingdom, our Royal Father. Thank you. You can see the muffler. And it's being handed over a trophy or a plaque. Please put your hands together for the speaker. Yes, hand over the microphone to the patron for his goodwill message. Thank you so much. Uh, truly, I hate to adopt protocols. Especially when protocols have not been properly established. And that is the truth. Because most times you say adopt protocols when it has not been established. And people, dignitaries, come from far and near and they are not given any proper recognition. In most cases, they get dispirited and disgruntled while leaving this place. On this note, I want to, with all due respect, recognize uh, the chairman of today's occasion. Director of Data Safe Technique of Washington. And of course, the great woman, my, my prominent secretary, who has since been acting on behalf of the chairman. Representative of Senator Wamboshe, I greet you. And of course, Your Royal Majesty, I recognize you. A very fine gentleman who worked with me 15 years ago when I was Commissioner for Local Governorship and uh, uh, Honorable Dr. Ide Wanka. A great man, responsible man, very, very resourceful. He worked with me when I was Commissioner, he was my council chairman, and I was one chairman. And by the grace of God, I was proud that he took over from me when I left as a commissioner for local government. <laughs> My brother, uh, Honorable Barrister Peter Mranko, SAN, former commissioner for justice and attorney general, I greet you. Of course, uh, the resource person who always delivers. Because this is not the first time of listening to him. He always wants to deliver. My great brother and my friend, uh, the president of NUJ, a chairman of NUJ, a man I respect so much for his intellect, resourcefulness, and hard work. A humble man, good man. I recognize you. And of course, if, oh, my friend, the representative of uh, the Commissioner of Police. Uh, he's my very good friend, and I'm proud. I told you I'm going to call him once I leave here to tell him that you gave him effective representation. Amen. And all the great men who are sitting here, if I don't know your name, please put your name that I'll recognize you. <laughs> and uh, of course, all of you who are here, if I don't know your name and I don't, just add your name. You are properly recognized. <laughs> the president of, uh, of uh, this association, great association. Or is it chairman? Yes. And whatever title, chairman. I greet you. And your executive. Yes, on behalf of uh, Right Honorable uh, the Sheriff Francis Oborevori, the Speaker of the Delta State House of Assembly, and the PDP governorship candidate, and by the grace of God, the next governor of Delta State. Oh. I wish to greet you. Uh, he attached so much importance to this ceremony. The journalist, of course, he will, he will acknowledge it that it's a man that has an open door policy towards journalism and journalists in Delta State. They have access to him at all times. At all times. And because of his attachment to this ceremony, he has asked me to represent him instead of joining him in the world to world campaign. You are aware, he's very busy. And normally, I'm also deeply involved in that world to world campaign as a member of the uh, campaign council. I'm the assistant deputy director in charge of policy and strategy.
and research. It is compelling that for us to attend all the campaigns. And of course, we are in Delta Central where I come from. But he insisted that I must be here to represent him. He truly insisted. That one attached great importance to this ceremony. And uh, of course, he has asked me to, to thank you for the honor and the privilege of making him one of the patron of this organization. So on his behalf, I say thank you. And of course, he will continue to partner with you. He will continue to partner with this organization now. And when he becomes governor of Delta State next year, of course, he will also be part, partner with him in the governance of Delta State. The importance of uh, the mass media, especially the community newspaper, cannot be underplayed. The our great resource person has actually thrown so much light on it. The truth of the matter is this. Remove community policy. There will be a wide gap in journalism. There will be a wide what? gap in journalism. And uh, I, I want to round up because I'm not here to make a long speech. I want to thank the members of the high team for honoring this invitation. Because if you had not come, they would have been a problem. That means dignitaries do not attend the occasion. And two, I want to also thank the members of the higher table. Because this side is the higher, and you know we are loyal to them. I hope you understand what I'm Because if you are not here, there would have been a problem. The truth of the matter is this, I believe in one thing. The Bible says that before you were born, I've known you by your name. Before we were born, God has established that ACPN will organize that 10th anniversary today. And those who God has programmed to be in attendance has also been established. So I want to congratulate you for, for being ordained by God to attend to this occasion and congratulate ACPN for making this possible for us to also be in attendance. Thank you very much and God bless you. The President of Korodoro has also spoken like a politician that he is. Please put your hands together for him once again. But God, I please to add one thing. We are here celebrating our anniversary. I also understand that we also need some something to keep it going. You didn't make any promises of that. And I don't know if maybe later you will see them behind the camera. But I'd like to appreciate you once again. Thank you very much, sir. Well, right now, we are going to call the anniversary cake. Please put your hands together for this wonderful association. They are doing well. The patron, I salute you. Thank you, sir. Yes. Having come the cake, the next item on the program now is the award ceremony. So we'd like to invite one who is in charge here to please take charge of this particular aspect of the program. Award ceremony. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, MC. We did the climax of our events for today. He holds the healthy foundation. I think he came straight from Lagos this morning. You have to fly to attend to this. So we also invite uh, Fruitful Adagisos Foundation Asaba to please come forward. And Engineer Patrick Ishe of the Share Foundation, step forward. And Manazi Bagisa, the Venus of Basiono, to still come forward. So we'll start with, uh, we will start with, uh, Chief Engineer Tony Ezuku, uh, On behalf of members of the ACNPN, I congratulate you on this deserving award of uh, philanthropy and community development, given today the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, Mr. Chairman, 
I thank to Dr. Kruzi for establishing the protocol here. So let me stand on that uh, protocol. Uh, may I pay your diligence to invite uh, members of the board of uh, ACT Foundation that are present here to join me? Uh, members of ACT uh, board Foundation. This lady, a young man, when I was informed of this nomination, I wondered how or what we have done to deserve it. But uh, I was reminded that I want to thank you for fishing us out and to also assure you that the journey has just started. The members of board are young and the oldest among them, and it's on purpose that 100 years down the line, at least a founding member of this uh, foundation will be alive to see the progress of the foundation. I want to thank you very much for honoring us. This is your award. Put your hands together for this great foundation. Thank you so much. In one small way, may we donate 100,000 naira to support your work. 100,000 from Chief Engineer Tony Zuko and their group. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you and congratulations. I present this award to you today, being the 10th of November 2022. Award of Diligence Service to Humanity. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations as you receive this. Wonderful award. I want to rise the chairman of the station and I want to stand in the Catholic protocol for one of time. Uh, please, I want to invite the youth of Mohanese that are accompanying me to this event. The youth of Mohanese. Especially my host, the chairman of the state, this month, please come over here with your people. So that will properly the secretary, Ben Gumbo, is also there. And also, the TR, national TR, are here. And others, all the, all the youth of the are here, please come over. So, the executive of community newspaper, because they are worthy ally in what we are doing in community service and service generally. We can't do without them. That's why, whenever they call us to come and attend any of their functions, we would like to come because they are the ones who help us to do the services we are rendering to humanity. And I want to encourage you to do more because the community and the, the rural people need your services more. Please don't relate to what you are doing. And I want to tell you in our own end at Ohanese, our own is human, human uh, based uh, services we are rendering. And we cannot do it without the people. That's why I want to partner with whatever you call us. Please continue to do what you are doing, we are with you. And we uh, want to tell you that what you gave us today is not just about by the living of our son, it's all about the and the youth. Because you saw what we are doing and you decided to organize the leader. So we say, may God bless you and keep all of you. We are happy and we appreciate this honor. May God bless all of us. So with that, I want to use some of uh, 50,000 naira to appreciate this award. 50,000 naira from the Ohanese Youth Award for philanthropy and national development. Congratulations. Congratulations. Fruitful and achievements. Congratulations, Truthful and Jesus. It will be represented there by Comrade Nandu Foye, President of the Youth Forum Worldwide. The chairman of the occasion, the Agnes Stanford, already established the protocol. Um, I want to thank uh, the organizers of this uh, event, the community newspapers, for, for their ego eye job that they have continued to do. Um, identifying the Fruitful Adagisos Foundation, identifying her work and singling her out for this award, it's uh, a clear testament that uh, the journalists are actually the watchdog of society. 
I say this because uh, this lady, Ada Jesus, she has been running this foundation for the past 11 years, and she has used it to touch the lives of the downtrodden, the widows, the uh, orphans, and other uh, people in the site. But she deliberately refused to give it any media hype. But despite that, this association was able to identify her and give her this award. Uh, on behalf of the Fruitful and Dark Jesus Foundation, I'll be donating the sum of 100,000. Thank you. Thank you so much for the congratulations and this in cash. Yes. Well, I must say that I'm very, very privileged to be handing over this award to you. We are one of the politicians I care this so much in the other state. Put your hands together for you to the mic, please. On behalf of members of uh, ACNPN, I present this award to you today, Honorable Ide Tony F. Mwaka, PhD, for contributing to political development in Nigeria. I want to congratulate you on behalf of the association. God bless. Congratulations. Chairman of the ceremony, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm about to say that I'm particularly delighted and uh, profoundly gratified by the honor you're doing me today. You know, for those of us in the political arena, uh, it's not always easy to get a recognition for some of the things we do for society. Not necessarily because we do not have credible organizations giving such a recognition, but in truth, some of the antecedents of some politicians have left much to be desired. So when we find ourselves recognized by society, it inspires us to do more. And again, it brings to clarity the responsibility we have before our people. So I thank you so much for the honor you've given me today. And uh, again, to commend the exercise in its entirety. But when I look at the topic that was delivered today by our able doctor as well, uh, it could have come at a more relevant time. And uh, he did deliver that lecture with exceptional candor and precision. So I commend you for that and ask you to keep up the good work you've been doing. And for those of us who are aspiring to political offices, Pray that by the grace of God, we will get there. We will partner with you much more effectively than we have done in the past. Uh, I will give you a little token and pray that further contributions will come along the line. But in the circumstance, I will be giving the group a sum of 100,000. Thank you so much for the share from this. You're welcome, sir. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me continue to stand on the existing protocol. And also, I will not forget to thank God Almighty for making this day what it is today. We all know that it's not by power, but by the grace of God. We walk according to the word of God because our roots is from his word, according to Galatians chapter 3, verse 14. You see, charity is the bond of perfectness, and that we do it in anything we do. I wonder what we have done so far that will be recognized, but to give God Almighty the praise and the glory of having recognized us for the little we have done. I continue to thank this body because. You have just triggered us to do more in our society. And uh, let me borrow some words from the, the man that took up us this uh, afternoon about 2023 election. I want to send a message. The fact remains that we cannot undermine um, with this. 
I want to say I have a token of 100,000 Naira to this body. And also, I will meet with the contact person to know those things that are bothering this association so that we can come in and implement some needs. Because when a man need a, uh, needs something and you do what he needs, he will appreciate it. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. So, in the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Congratulations. On behalf of the ACPN, I present this to you, Dr. Peter Marco, SCSAN, my good brother and my friend for your contribution to the legal development of Delta State and indeed Nigeria. And not only Nigeria, but the entire universe. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, several years ago, I used to publish a newspaper that became a magazine, a prospect magazine. So I appreciate the fact that putting a tabloid in the street is not an easy business. To be able to sustain it is another problem altogether. So for any magazine you see, or any newspaper you see today that has been in this state and running, we need to comment those behind those newspapers. It's not easy. I want to also thank members of this association. Um, when you are out of public office, most people do not remember you. Even your phones will stop ringing unless you, are, you have value in terms of cash to give to people. Otherwise, your phone will stop ringing. But I've had God's grace to be among the few who a year plus outside office, I'm still receiving awards. Also, one of the few who have been battered by the press in this state. <laughs> Seriously battered, but we come out strong because we know that we are decent people from decent backgrounds. My politics to say, look, our people deserve a good life. You cannot suffer on earth and suffer in hell fire. That's not good job in my opinion. <laughs> so let's try and make you a bit tolerable. So once again, I want to thank you. I thank each and every one of you. God bless you. I'm going to stay strong for a new Delta. Thank you. Morning. I'll give you a Thank you so much. Thank you. Presented by his brother. Honorable Odyssey Okezi. So start with uh, with my speech. I don't have much to say than to say, God, thank you. And my brother have one simple message. For this recognition, he will do more by the grace of God. Thank you all. Then uh, the donation. He said that uh, the association will get his message to uh, Adiago. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. The next uh, mother, Joan Oko. That is the mother of ACNBN Delta State Council, Professor Mrs. Joan Oko, JP. She has always been there for this association. Call her 247, she will answer. Please put your hands together for her. Put your hands together for her. She is one person that understands the need to assist this association. Thank you so much. Thank you. On behalf of the ACPA in Delta State, I present to you my own sister and friend, yes. Professor Mrs. Joan Oko. This community champion award. You are a champion and you continue to be a champion. In educational development, it is also my prayer for you because the Bible made it clear that your later days shall be better than your beginning. This award 
and that injunction in your life starts from today. Amen. So I look forward to better day, life for you in Jesus' name. Amen. I have to say thank you to this organization who have been the major supporters of this of this association, and I'm so proud of them. But I'm anyway, you know, I'm doing so I quite appreciate you. And uh, what will be the acceptance uh, donation? Retired but not tired. So we continue to follow on. I give a token sum of 20,000. Half of the ACP and Intelligence States, I present to you Engineer Patrick Agbaza, an Ashivas Award. And indeed, you are an achiever and you will continue to be an achiever in Jesus' name. Uh, a great achiever, a founder for re engineering, reliability, and development. It shall be well with you. Congratulations. On behalf of engineer Patrick Albazar, I pay the token of 100,000. The regime from this is a leader. I tell you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. On behalf of the ACPN in Delta State, you, Sir Dr. Shuks Okonji, ably heavily represented. The ACPN presents to you a Shiva's Award as the ACM Man of the Year 2022. Congratulations, wish you well in Jesus' name. But before I go on, I'd like the audience to please put your hands together for Sir Dr. Chukchukunji. Yes, I'm just standing in for him because he is unavoidably absent. But he has led me to understand that philanthropy is something that God has gifted by God. And so he's not new, they call him Omelora because he's truly a cheerful giver. Whether he knows you or he doesn't know you. So I'd like to say here that uh, 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 Dr. Chus Okoji has appreciated this uh, group. And uh, I want to also inform them that in a very short while they will hear from him because he has only a friend, he has been there for you, and you have also been there for him. Thank you very much. Don't well, congratulate me. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of the association, present this award to the Chief Award to Mr. Festus Ofume. 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 Was a presentation uh, in your honor as a common Yes, thank you. Everybody here present, uh, especially the organizers of this program. I also want to recognize the uh, members sitting at the high table. I am so very much um, honored and um, especially for the fact that. I was singled out to receive this honor. What I'm seeing here today has actually been my dream. Because each time I happen to watch the CNN Heroes Award, this has always come to my mind. A day where I will see an award ceremony where the recipients of the award will not be predominant by big names of politicians and big wigs in the society. The award today, apart from a few names that ring bell in our society, we are carefully giving to those that have been contributing in one way or the other who felt that they have not been recognized. What you have done is actually to make us heroes and to tell us that the people are seeing what we are doing and we should continue. I must congratulate you and I must admonish and um, plead with you to continue in this manner. Because those that you are recognizing today, 
will grow up to become somebody tomorrow. I'm a candidate for the House of Assembly, and it is my hope of the APC from my local government, and that I'll be there. And I'll be partnering with you people right from when I was the Delta State Chairman of Young Democratic Party. And I'll continue to partner with you. I thank you and I appreciate you all. Um, I will support this award for the token of 50,000. Thank you. Diabetes organization. She did it just for the community. Charity. Uh, I appreciate each and every one of you. We are very grateful for this wonderful award. Indeed, we are grateful for the recognition, especially. Thank you very much. You will hear from her through um, Abelgo. <laughs> okay. He came with the foundation. We heard you, we see you, and we know what you've been doing. Uh -huh. After running around hospitals, you end up in air comfort, and God will heal you. Jesus' name. So, sir, on behalf of the association, I present to uh, Air Comfort Hospital for uh, private uh, hospital and uh, uh, services of the year 2022. Congratulations. Congratulations. You know, you are closer to us and the grassroots. And you do the work. Each time I see any member of this association, I'm delighted because one, because you are very objective in your reporting, your objective, and you're going to the grassroots to seek the truth. Because this day of internet, this day of social media, where people just wake up and become journalists overnight. <laughs> and we know the product and what the dish out lies from various places on balance reports and they don't even care about the image of what they are reporting forgetting that the Bible, the pen, pen they say is stronger than the gun whatever you vomit and write on a paper you don't know how far it goes to affect the person you are writing about the society maybe a politician or whoever you are writing about so i must commend this association that you are the true people that represents us and tell us the truth. On behalf of myself, my colleagues in the office, and the, and Air Comfort Hospital as an organization, I say thank you very much for this award. And in standing with you, we are going to make a, um, a donation, and we are going to give it, since we have one of your members, um, as a very good friend, before we leave here, we shall give something to the association. And we appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, brother, I'm encouraged. And uh, what has made it possible for me to have our team to present you this, uh, our extra so congratulations. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, and you know, you're awesome.